What is up? This is Random Sparks here, back in Farming Simulator 2015. So I'm just finishing up cultivating this field, so once we get this all finished up, I will hook this tractor up to the cedar, and we will get some corn planted. So, <laughs> in the last episode, I managed to lose quite a bit of money because I accidentally double clicked this tractor and, and bought it, unfortunately. I mean, it's not not bad, but it was rather expensive for the amount of funds that I have. So, kind of put me behind a little bit. However, it did give me a little bit more horsepower to work with, which is always good. So, we have that. But I was gonna go look and see how much some uh, fields would cost, but I don't think I have very much money for that at the moment. So I went and I guess I could go check out field five, six, or twenty. Oh, missed a little piece there. Might as well get it, I suppose. While we're here. So, alright. See, so, yeah, I definitely need to get uh, another field here soon. But, um. Sorry about that, got a uh, phone call. But anyways, where, where was I? I think I was talking about uh, this tractor anyways. I accidentally bought it. But um, yeah, so I'm going to head over, get started planting. And I believe my cedar should be... Okay, yeah. First I thought I had it right by the actual seeds, the seed pallets. But, you know, parked right here. Seriously, I was like gone for an hour before I got back. Like when I when I just stopped there and got back, I was gone for like an hour. So actually, might have been two. But anyways, uh, I wanted to do corn. Shit. No, no, no. Corn. I want corn. There we go. I don't even know how much it can hold, but all right, there we go. So I think I'm gonna be doing this manually. I just kind of feel like it right now since we have the ridge markers. So, heck, this this thing is getting dirty. I wonder how much uh, the washer costs. What kind of placeables do we have, anyways? Okay, so trees and that's weird. Seven thousand dollars for bloody trees. That's just insane. Oh, I don't know how these work. I've never used uh, greenhouses before, or bee, or bee house. But that is 4,500. So I might end up getting that eventually. Not, not now. Until I have some expendable funds. So, anywho, so I'm gonna get a little bit started here. Then uh, I will. Let you guys just give you guys a break and let you not. You don't need to watch me doing this, but um, yeah. So, anyways, I'll do a row or two. So, how do we. B is turning it on. I don't have my volume on here. Either. So, turning it on, it sounded like the horsepower went up. And it's PTO driven, so that must explain that. I wonder if it. No, there's nothing showing there. But yeah, it definitely sounds like it's getting louder. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't know how, my, how I have my volume set for the video. But, anyways. Try to keep it straight. And we're already moving off to the right. Wow. 
I'm probably better off just hiring. So let me do that. Ah, shoot. We got a little off there. That's not good. Man, I am hungry right now. <laughs> My friends were talking about ordering a pizza, and gosh, I am so hungry. I think a pizza sounds amazing. Living on campus, it's it's great. Pizza will deliver right away. See, you got a selection. We have Domino's and Pizza Hut. Either one sounds amazing right now, but Domino's might be a bit cheaper. Not that you guys care. Ooh, we even have the uh, somewhat like dirt tearing up effect there. It's coming out of the blades there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they really pull out some good stuff here. I mean, there was some there is some stuff I might improve on personally. I guess I mean texture wise and just model wise, I guess they could have done a little bit better for uh like the some of this foliage grass I mean it's it's basically exactly how it was in in 2013 and same with this this bottom grass texture here they could know a little bit better I mean but if they're trying to like I guess I can understand they're making the game so that it runs on lower NPCs and they're using a similar engine that they did so actually I don't know if they use the same game engine but I, I guess I don't know, but shoot! Wow, glitching. I don't. I think that's the camera mod that I have. That's, that does that. I think this is the default view, anyways. Man, seriously, they. I had to check out the Westbridge Hills map. I no, I'm on that right now. Never mind the, whatever their map they have on here, other than Westbridge Hills, because that's where I'm at right now. But um, I think. I haven't checked it out yet. I didn't even in 2013. The only map I ever of the two default maps, Rustbridge Hills was the only one I ever played. I didn't play the other one ever. I don't even think I checked it out to see what it was like. That's just how close-minded I was. But um, anyways, I will just uh, pause right here and come back. Hopefully, I will be all planted without any issue. So I uh, got most of the planting done now, so I'm just waiting for these last couple of rows. However, during that process, the first growth state uh, occurred. So we got some corn growing here already. But uh, I already slowed down the time, so it's uh, going normal speed, and the growth is slowed down to slow, whereas it wasn't normal before. So that's how that is right now. So I'm just going to let him finish up there. And then uh, I might take out some more loan and get some hay equipment. I'm pondering that right now. So I'm not sure because I mean, I'm going to want something to do while that is growing. I don't just want to wait around while it's growing. You know, I'm just looking for something to do, or you know, maybe just have this tab open and do something in another tab. And it's kind of just that's just boring. I wanna I wanna do something interactive. I wanna make this make this fun. So we'll see. I think I have a hundred thousand dollars in loans out right now. So I think I am I'm allowed at two hundred thousand. So I can take it a hundred thousand more. That should give me enough for uh, actually geez i don't I don't think so if i bought if I took out another hundred thousand, that would leave me with uh okay, so hundred thousand plus thirty three actually has thirty one three one three minus this. 88,000 for the New Holland Baylor, so that leaves me with 43, 13, ah, jeez, I don't even have enough for a loader tractor, so shoot, I won't, 
Ah, damn. I won't be able to do anything. So I'm going to have to wait another season before I get into any hay work. And even... And I suppose I could always sell the hay, but... I was going to say, I don't even have any cows or, or sheep to feed it with, so... But yeah, you can always just sell that stuff. However, I won't have enough left over for any bale handling equipment, so... It's kind of pointless. That pauses it when I go into the purchase menu. That's, that's weird. And, uh, in 2013, the game kept going. I mean, it stopped any tractor that you were driving, but the game kept going, so... So that's different. I hope still got the flashlight when you hit F. Noish, 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 noish. This field. Okay, I remember this field now. There should be, yep, there's definitely a, a barn or a shed right over there. <laughs> Climbing your way up top here. Anyways, um, if you're looking for any other farming simulator, <laughs> farming simulator entertainment, uh, I recently found uh, a YouTuber. I think he started around June, so he hasn't been out for that long. But um, seems pretty successful to me. Uh, Rudeman fifty three R U D E M A N five three. He's got some good farming simulator games up on YouTube and uh, it's just Simulator 13 he also has professional farmer games I believe as well as as well as some other miscellaneous stuff so check him out I've been really enjoying some of his videos he's got some great commentary um, he does some work on the Idaho map and he recently just started on uh, the uh, uh, modern American map from uh, American Eagle modding and uh, I think he was just getting started on some course play setup, which I hope comes out soon for 15. Because I want, I really need to learn how to use that. It's definitely a helpful tool. So, all right, we're done here. So I want to put this away, and I suppose. Really, all I can do right now is wait until harvest. Unless, I mean, the only other thing I could do is transport some uh, equipment. Or not equipment. What am I talking about? Um, transport some some grain to uh, the sell points if we ever get a uh, a great demand. So let's see. I don't know. I will speed this back up. I don't want to get the plant growth. Actually, no. I'm going to speed this back up to uh, normal. For the hell of it, I'm going to go with fast. <laughs> I know I'm changing my mind quite frequently here, but that's just how I'm going to do it. But anyways, I will park my cedar here. And uh, I should have a trailer or not I thought I, okay I thought I purchased a, a tipper I, see, I swear I had one of these I guess not I didn't buy it yet but uh, anyways I need one of them Shoot. okay no I couldn't have even afforded that but um yeah that whole trailer had there was like no capacity on it I mean, I guess it was enough for the amount of land we had, but once I start expanding, I want something a little bigger. And plus, I'm going to be making less stops right now. God, the people in my dorm, they're just, they, I swear they have heavy feet, and why the hell do you need to even run through the dorm? Like, where, where are you going that you need to go to so fast? I mean, they're not even leaving. I don't hear the uh, outside door opening. So, like, wh where are you going inside of the dorm that you need to rush to? What, what is their deal? And it's like, it's never any of the guys. It's the girls. 
and they're like on the opposite side, opposite side of my building too. So what are they doing over here? Like they need to run so damn fast. Just grinds my gears. Jeez, oh, I swear these things, they like drift essentially when you're uh, slowing down and turning at the same time. Okay, it didn't that wasn't a good example, but um. I don't know if you've seen any of, it, any of my other videos where that's happened, it's just messed up. I don't know why I went around this way. I want to go back. See, it's kind of drifting there. I don't know if you noticed that, but it looked like it was drifting around there. <clears throat> Man, this thing is just got some grime all over it. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. I wonder if I don't remember if that was a feature in shoot 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 <laughs> as I was saying I don't remember if that was a feature in uh, 2013 I know they had the same trailer but I don't think that the uh, covering was one of the options they had Anywho. I'm just gonna sneak on through here. Possibly, yep, there we go. Nailed it. Try to get it lined up as square as I can. And there we go. Nailed it. A little bit more. That's a little crooked now, and I don't like that very much. But I will live with it. Anyways, so I guess I don't know how long I'm been recording this episode, but um, I suppose I'll call it good here. And when I pick up next time in the next episode, um, oh lordy, in the next step, oh jeez, <laughs> as I was saying, in the next episode, um. Oh, I get how that works now. I'm I'm gonna go off on a little thing here. That's how it looks like it's filling up. Is it just literally lifts this whole texture or, or object up? Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, next episode, um, the crops should be full and mature, and we will be ready for some corn harvest. Anyways, thanks for joining me, guys, and stay tuned for the next episode.